What actually is CrossFit though? Because obviously for you, it's like your bread and butter. But for somebody <laughs> like me, for example, I didn't really know what CrossFit was until I met you. CrossFit is a combination of everything. CrossFit is about being ready for everything and not specializing in anything. So it is Olympic weightlifting, it's gymnastics, it's endurance, running, swimming, biking, uh, powerlifting. Yes. 2011 and 2012, you won at the CrossFit Games. Are you the first woman ever to win it twice? Yes. Like, can we just take a second to appreciate that? Like, well, that's incredible. So how did you get into it then? In Iceland, we have all these like weird competition series, which was kind of like CrossFit, but you competed in just running, light bench press, sit-ups and jumping. And I was really good at that. So I started competing in those. And then 2009, one of the events kind of in these series was a CrossFit event. And a friend of mine, actually my co-owner, Everett, he forced me to sign up for it. And I signed up, I competed, I won. Wow, and your first competition. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> love that debut winner. And that's what got me hooked. We ended up getting a wild card at the CrossFit Games. So I was like, all right, I got two months to get to know this sport a little bit. I was just hooked. I felt like I found what I've been looking for. Like, it's definitely a full-time job. It's more than that, it's your life, mm. let's be honest. Exactly. So how much do you train then? Well, I train a lot, two times a day, two to three hours per session. But obviously I'm not just lifting weights all the time or running all the time. Yeah. And to become the best at what you do, there's so much more than just the hours at the gym. You can't just turn up. To be it's the best the at anything. It's the recovery, it's yeah. the sleeping, it's the diet, it's, it is, like you said, it's a lifestyle. And obviously all your training and your dedication has paid off. Like yeah. the first time I won the games was amazing because just achieving that goal that you've been working so hard for. Yeah. That was incredible. I'm competitive, I train to win, but at the end of the day, I'm not in control of what anyone else does. I'm only in control of what I do and I know that I'm getting better. So all I can ask for is me doing everything that I can once I step onto the competition floor. And I'm not gonna lie and say that I'm motivated every single day. No one is. I honestly think that's an issue that people think that they have to be motivated all the time. Yes, I am motivated, but I find my goal. I find my reasons to why I'm doing it. Right now, my biggest motivation and drive is knowing that I can affect other people's lives in a positive way. Getting one person to step outside of their comfort zone and change their lifestyle or make them appreciate themselves a little bit more, that's goal achieved. Women starting to feel the empowerment of lifting weights and the confidence they get, stepping outside of their comfort zone and jumping onto a box, like that's a hard thing for a lot of people to do and I get to be a part of it, which is amazing. We all know there's like a, a stigma around weightlifting that is shifting now, that a lot of people see it quite masculine, like football. Football has been male dominated for so many years. Yeah. And it's finally starting to change. How do you feel about that? Proud that is changing. That's one of the things that I love about my sport is the gender equality that it's had from the very beginning. The price money is the same, the TV time is the same. Wow. So what advice would you give to young girls out there then? Obviously we all are gonna have issues with our bodies at some point. I wasn't always happy that I had a six pack. I've had a six pack since I was six years old. The way to embrace it is that it's not what you look like, it's what you can do. And that's what CrossFit stands for, that's what I feel like soccer stands for, all these different sports. It's about excelling at what you do. And what I feel like is changing in society, it's not about being skinny, it's about being healthy and taking care of yourself. Young girls can get so much out of sports. Friends, the environment that you're in, it's kind of like a safe zone. You're stepping outside of that normal school environment or your normal kids that you hang with. You're getting a clean slate, just being you.